So this is Ipo Mega TH40 and my first hand to a 40 person keyboard which is one of the most compact and unique layout in the market right now. This keyboard was sent to me by Ipo Maker themselves and a big thanks to them for sending me this keyboard. And now let's dive into my first impression of this. The box this keyboard comes in is a decently premium one and covers all the necessary details about the keyboard. And on the top of the box, we find the main features of this keyboard. And opening the box, at first, we get the user manual. And in it, you will find all the guides to the multiple function layers of this keyboard. Then on the top, we get the accessories box. In which, the first thing we get is the 2.4GHz dongle. And this provides the seamless wireless connection. Then we get a braided Type-C to a cable with decent flex on it. After that, there is the aluminum keycap and switch puller combo. And then lastly, we get some extra switches which are Ipomaker West Area Switch. And about that, I'll be talking in a bit. Now for the keyboard. Getting the keyboard out of the plastic wrap, we get our beautiful, yet a small keyboard. The layer you are seeing right now might be unfamiliar to some of you. And this is how a 40% or a 44 key keyboard layout looks like. As we can see, there is no number row or function row on this keyboard. And even the escape key is absent here. And also the shift key is pretty small and the one thing I didn't like is the quotient or the slash key is on the right side which often results into misclicking that instead of the shift and the split spacebar makes the keyboard more practical to type on. As for the build quality, the keyboard comes with a dark olive colored ABS shell about which I'll be discussing in my full review along with the internals. And the another nice thing Ipomega added is the fabric strap on the left side which makes the keyboard carryable on the go. As for the keycaps, the keycaps this keyboard comes in is of double shot ABS keycaps but this is a pretty premium one and if not one of the thickest keycaps I have tried in a while and also I will be covering this more in the review. And for the switches, the switches this keyboard comes in is the Ipomaker West Area Switch which is a medium heavy tactile switch and also a talky one which is also one of my favorite switch from Ipomaker. Along with the switches, there is the steps which in my initial testing felt pretty smooth and I didn't see any kind of rattle. So that's all for today. Let's see how this unique and interesting keyboard performs till my full review. Till then, stay safe and thank you for watching. And now, time for some sound test. <laughs>